Ms. Mays. Our next witness is Mr. Arthur All. He is an attorney and founding partner of All Fitzsimons and Jude law firm in San Antonio, Texas. The law firm focuses on real estate, business, and energy law matters. Mr. O is also a cattle rancher and producer. He's testifying on behalf of the National Cattlemen's Beef, Cattlemen's Beef Association, the marketing organization and trade association for a million cattle farmers and ranchers. Welcome. Madam Chair, Ranking Member Graves, members of this committee, my name is Arthur Uhl, and I'm a rancher, cattle producer, and attorney from San Antonio, Texas. I'm testifying on behalf of the National Cattlemen's Beef Association, the NCBA, which is the largest and oldest national organization representing America's cattlemen and cattlewomen. As chairman of NCBA's Tax and Credit Policy Committee, I can testify that the repeal or fundamental reform of our federal state tax system is at the heart of NCBA's mission, and we believe it's critical to the long-term viability of our industry. I appreciate your committee raising awareness of the tremendous burden that the estate tax places on America's farmers and ranchers. Ninety-seven percent of American farms and ranches are owned and operated by families, many of which have owned their properties for generations. To small and medium-sized operation, this tax can be a death sentence. Thank you for holding this hearing and bringing cattlemen to the table. Tax policy is a key factor impacting American cattle producers, particularly in today's difficult business climate. In an industry where financial returns are historically small, we depend upon the ability to pass on a farm or ranch to the next generation without exhausting resources for arduous planning or being forced to break apart economically viable operations. We view the estate tax as fundamentally unfair, inefficient, economically stifling, and particularly devastating to our business, which requires highly valued assets to produce minimal economic returns. Cattle producers understand and appreciate the role of taxes in maintaining and improving our nation, but they also believe the most effective tax code is a fair one. For this reason, NCBA members fundamentally disagree with the taxing of assets that have already been taxed sometimes two and three times over. In the eyes of American farmers and ranchers, death should not be a taxable event, either for the estate or for the heirs. The current onerous estate tax system is also at odds with our important national goals are preserving natural resources and open space. Family farms and ranches provide an abundant and necessary source of food and fiber to feed the growing global population as well as Americans right here at home. Not only are they producing nutritious food, America's farmers and ranchers are taking care of the land, air, and water that make our way of life possible. The death tax breaks up farm and ranch land and displaces family generational farms and ranches expediting their conversion to strip malls and condo complexes and doing a great disservice to the American public and our rural way of life. All family businesses would like to see this tax go away and historically the cattlemen have fought for full repeal of the estate tax. But our members recognize full repeal may not be an option at this time, so we are simply asking Congress to reform the estate tax to give relief and certainty to dedicated farming and ranching families who continue to work and preserve the land. The minimal amount of progress which has been made is at risk of being undone. Currently, the estate tax rate is set at 45 percent for estate assets exceeding $3.5 million in value, or $7 million per couple. The President's proposed budget would freeze the estate tax at these levels so they can be dealt with at a later date. If Congress does nothing, in 2011, the exemption amount and tax rate would revert to a staggering pre-2001 tax levels, meaning estate assets exceeding $1 million would be taxed at the 55 percent rate. When you factor in land and equipment, not to mention rising property values, it's clear that most farms and ranches would easily exceed the million-dollar threshold. This is a value that most farmer and ranchers will never see in terms of cash, as it is tied up in productive assets which we hope to pass down to the next generation. An estate tax exemption of agricultural lands is an optimal way to diminish the devastating effects of the estate tax on family ranching operations. Farm and ranch land market values continue to increase based on many things, including their proximity to urban sprawl. In most cases, this inflated market value is the basis for assessing the death tax, resulting in the need to liquidate productive agricultural assets in order to keep what we can. Indexing for inflation is absolutely critical in countering escalating land values, 
and stepped up basis provisions are imperative when those assets have been levied with the tax. NCBA has supported recent legislative proposals to increase the exemption levels and decrease the rate of taxation. For these reasons, it is our recommendation that Congress act swiftly to bring further reform to the death tax. We urge you to work with Chairman Rangel and the Ways and Means Committee to include the reform ideas laid out in Representative Berkeley's bill, as well as the adoption of the agricultural exemption contained in the Thompson-Salazar bill, because at the end of the day, all we really want is to keep our farms and ranches in production. We need farms and ranches to stay whole and be passed down from generation to generation in order to take care of the land, feed our country, feed the world, and maintain our way of life. NCBA appreciates the House Small Business Committee holding this hearing, and U.S. cattle producers need your leadership and look forward to continuing dialogue on this important issue. Thank you, Mr. Rule. Um, the Chair recognizes Ms. Fallon for the purpose of introducing